Hello and welcome to this World of Tanks tutorial, my name is Maxwell and today we're going to be taking a look at the map cliff and the routes and tactics you should use as a light tank. The results for the competition that I was running last week to win any game from Steam can be found at the end of this video. So before we get started we'll take a quick look at a map. As always the yellow and blue lines show the optimum routes that you should take and as you can see straight away that most of your efforts will be focused on that right hand flank and the centre of the map leaving the left hand flank well alone as there's generally far too much stuff happening over there for you to make any kind of real impact. There's too many heavy tanks and too many tank destroyers in well defended positions for you to be of much use. As you can see the yellow has a couple more choices if you're spawning at base number two. You have a couple more choices than if spawning at base number one as you have that far right hand flank push that you can do. It's the, you, you can attempt that uh, when spawning at base number one but by the, uh, the sort of the area that you can reach in the time that you have really you're not going to spot much more than the heavy tanks pushing up that flank. If you look at the normal camping locations of the enemy's artillery way, way on the back line there uh, spawning at base number one on the you get a couple who sometimes camp on the left hand flank mediums generally try and take the middle of the map the little raised area and far to the left they try and take that overhang and try and get some shots down on the heavies and tank destroyers which generally take up very well defended positions in the little town and the rocks and the rest of the heavy tanks generally push on that very far right hand side around that mountain. So first off we will cover spawning at base number one. Now the first thing you'll notice about this map is it is a lot more dynamic than the other maps we have covered so far. There was a lot more movement um, and this map flows a lot more than the ones we've covered previously. Now the first route we're going to cover is coming up and spotting in the middle. Again, compared to the the previous maps in this series, there isn't really any good positions where you can just get yourself well hidden, well camouflaged and do a great deal of spotting. There, there are a couple of positions like that in this map but there aren't very many at all. So what you want to do first is you want to get yourself up this hill here and try and take cover behind this rock and stealth yourself in this set of bushes here. Now what this does is it will allow you to spot any medium tanks that are coming up that hill because this is the the medium tanks generally congregate around this area here. Now if you don't feel like trying to take that central area there what you can do is just pull a right hand pull, pull a right as you come up that hill and move across this area. Always keep your gun pointing in that direction in case you see an enemy tank moving in the same way as you. You can always have a pot shot. And what you want to do is just get yourself around this corner here and set yourself up in a good position to spot any enemy light tanks coming around that corner or mediums coming around that corner. Now if it's pretty safe and there's no one coming what you can do is just point yourself over in that direction and try and spot a tank destroyer or a heavy tank getting into position. And sometimes the heavy tanks will try and come around that corner as fast as possible to try and get uh, an advanced position. What you can do is just quickly spot them there and scupper their plan. Now if you did decide to take the middle here always remember that you don't want to spend too much time in one place on this map so you should always be moving that's the key to survival on this map take a position spot a couple of tanks from that position if nobody appears then move on even if somebody does appear move on you don't want to be because I mean there isn't many places to hide from enemy artillery and for some reason enemy artillery will always focus on the light tanks as it's an easy kill for them so you should always be moving this is the other position you can take here is just this advanced position here. Uh, take cover behind that rock. Now this isn't a very good position unfortunately as you don't really get much of a view that the heavy tanks themselves won't get so I would use that that uh, position sparingly. And finally back to here what you want to do is just basically switch between the three different positions that we've just covered. So 
do a little spotting in the center in this in the center there once you've spotted a couple of tanks or if you get spotted yourself and someone has a sh pot shot at you then just move on just drive across the open ground here and try and get to the cover of this area here just always move to an area do a bit of spotting then move to another area just always be in motion now once you the game is a bit more advanced along and you've taken out a good majority of the enemy once this area is safe then you can push on forwards here and try and do a little spotting in this town here you will generally find nine times out of ten there'll be a couple of very heavy tanks hiding just under that ridge there so if you can do sort of a cliff hang before 7.0 update comes out try and get yourself a couple of pot shots on their top armor which incidentally is very weak and hopefully you can spot them for your larger guns to try and take them out what you can also do is just pull up around this area here sometimes you'll be able to catch a tank destroyer changing positions around this area because if this flank has lost taken a lot of casualties you will find the tank destroyers will pull out of the town and start moving up this hill here and that is the perfect opportunity for you to get a couple of shots at them when they are exposed and unable to return fire if this area seems totally clear then what you want to do is try and hunt out the enemy's artillery and 50-50 chance that the enemy's artillery will be hiding in this position here if there is no artillery in this position then all you simply do is swing around and point yourself over this cliff and they should be hiding in that area just down there if they're not in that area then they will be on the opposite side of the enemy's base so you'll have to swing around past the town to try and take those out on to spawning at base number two now this first route we're going to cover you should only attempt if you're in a fast tank and what I mean by that is don't attempt it if you're in an American tank because they aren't fast enough if you are say in the tier 4 leopard or the tier 5 VK or any of the Russian light tanks so the A20 the T50 or the T50-2 then you stand a chance of being able to reach this position without being spotted so what you're going to want to do is just move over to this left hand side as quickly as possible and what you're essentially trying to do here is just take up an advanced position and try and do some spotting on the enemy this is probably one of the only good camping spotting positions that you'll be able to take on this map as you can see it takes a while to get there which is why you should only really attempt it if you're in a very fast tank um, this tank in particular the M24 wouldn't be able to make it here fast enough before any enemy tanks made it here also so what you want to do is just take cover behind this rock um, uh, it seems exposed but trust me that bush there in front of you is enough camouflage if you just spin around and have a look there it is enough camouflage if you make it there before any enemy tanks and what you can do is you can spot enemy tank destroyers and heavies taking up positions in the town there and it also gives you a good line of sight on the right hand side also the rock offers good cover but if you're feeling particularly daring what you can do is instead of taking cover behind the rock you can just go for a straight up rush on the enemy's base if you think you really are fast enough you can have an attempt at this so the way you're going to want to do that is keep as close to the cliff as possible but not so close that you might accidentally run into trouble i.e. getting stuck on a small rock and it stopping you dead in your tracks now keeping as close to the cliff as possible basically keeps you well covered as you see there's a lot of foliage between you and the road so sometimes you can make it to this position here without being spotted at all uh, if you can make it to this position it's fantastic for spotting the enemy's artillery which generally will still be camped inside the base in a bush so you could either have a couple of pot shots uh, yourself and try and catch somebody unawares if you don't think that your gun has the power necessary to take something out then just rely on spotting for your artillery to try and take them out itself now if you don't see any any artillery you are already too committed to pull back so what you're going to want to do is just press forward into the enemy's base it's a good idea sometimes to circumvent that white line because if somebody sees their base being captured they're automatically going to turn their eyes onto their base uh, giving away your position so if you do manage to get there try and do it without going through the line and then you might be able to catch a tank destroyer here with his pants down so if you haven't got a fast tank or you're not feeling brave enough to attempt that then just like spawning at base number one what you're gonna you've got one of two choices now you're gonna wanna either try and take a good position in the center or push to the right hand flank and 
those cliffs that overlook where the heavy tanks will be advancing. So what you're going to want to do is just take up a good position again in a bush and from that position you can spot enemy medium tanks moving up the hill. Now again, as I mentioned before, don't spend too much time in one place on this map. Always be in motion. If a couple of medium tanks do crest the hill and start bearing down on you, feel free to fall back, take cover behind a rock like this. Uh, hopefully if they come all the way over the hill then your bigger gun should t punish them for making that mistake. Now if you don't want to take the centre again, you can just hang here right here and uh, head towards the cliff. And just like when spawning at base number one, what you're going to want to be doing here is just getting to this area around here before anybody else and trying to get some eyes on the enemy's positions. Now normally this normally this position, spawning at base number two, you won't spot very many enemy f overlooking that cliff area there as only very rarely do the base number one heavies and tank destroyers push that far forward so what you're going to want to do is wait until this area is clear and once it is clear you're going to want to push forward to around about this area here now you're quite exposed getting into position but once you're in position you are actually fairly safe as the rock on the right hand side here offers good cover from the enemy's base and that rock in front of you there actually covers you from the little central raised area and the town directly in front of you there so you are you are actually well protected and if you do make it without being spotted then all these trees and bushes will offer good cover and as you can see it gets you a good view of the enemy's base so you may be able to spot an SPG artillery piece having a pot shot. Now again just f a note on survivability if you do get spotted or changing position it's sometimes a good idea to head off in one direction as you can see there and then after sort of three to four seconds when you've dropped off the enemy's radar just spin your tank around and head to a completely different ta flank where the enemy won't be expecting you to show up as some of you may remember I was running a subscriber competition last week which was to get a friend family member, colleague, anybody you know to subscribe to my channel to be in with a chance to win your choice of any game from Steam. That competition is now closed and the winner has been drawn so drum roll please. Actually I don't have a drum roll prepared so I will just go ahead and announce the winner of the subscriber competition to win any game of your choice from Steam was this Belcher. That's right, the username of the winner is this Belcher. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but congratulations to you. You've won your choice of any game from Steam. I'll be sending you a private message shortly with more instructions. Again, thank you very much to everybody who took part and everybody who subscribed. And don't worry, we will be running more competitions with a wider array of prizes available in the future. So stay tuned for more. Thank you.